Alright guys, the first mod today is NPC Clothes Changer and Maintainer by Dudestia. What you want to do is go in your inventory apparel, look for the ring of the fashion designer, equip it. Now walk up to somebody you want to change their clothes. This guy, like this guy over here. I'm looking at him, like he asked me to. And now, you just gotta go to your inventory, look around, let me see if I can find what I want to give him. Find uh, the armor, for example. Now he's a poor beggar and... Soon he will be a very boss Daedric like he is now. I can just walk around and beat up people for gold. This works with any peop any NPC in the game. You can change everybody's armor, even mod characters. So if you might have some problems once in a while, like Lydia for example. Most people have problems changing her clothes. You can do that if, you, if she's usually not your companion, but she's going to be around your house. You can always use this mod to... Re change her clothes so she won't be a freaking armor all the time and overall it's really good uh, I use this for, for my um, for the people in my house usually in, in Skyrim but overall really good mod again thankfully for you guys I have found the mod that goes perfect with this and it might pleasure your sense of Japanese art as you can see I'm wearing it right now and this mod is called Project Sekirei Sexy Japanese Clothes CBVE version 3 by Nikita. Now, when you enter the place I showed you guys on the map, you'll look, you'll end up in this place. Japanese kind of art. And very good location actually. I think he did it really well. I'm not sure if this map, this location was here. Or it, it comes with a mod, but I'm not sure. Either way, he found a really good environment for it. Anyways, you go up here and... You will see a, a bokuto or this wooden kind of sword they use in Japanese. You see this bamboo trees, that awesome waterfall over there. But what you want to do is go into the the chest and you will see all these things that might look like books with the Japanese lady on them. All you want to do is get them all if you want. The next mod I'll be showing you guys is One Handed Weapons on Your Back TS Edition. What this mod does is what it implies. It makes one handed weapons go on your back. Okay, we got a little courier naked coming at us, giving us something we might want to get away from him. Um so what it does, it makes the one handed weapons go on your back like if there are two handed weapons. As you can see, everybody around you will have it like this, even my follower. Okay? And the one thing it won't put on your back are maces because you don't really want a mace on your back that whenever you walk you're going to get pummeled and freaking crack your back. So due to safety issues, one-handed weapons such as maces will not be on your back. Only swords and axes. And it also slightly moves um, the arrow quiver down so it's more sideways than completely on your back since the sword will be occupying the space. Plus, how you remove your sword in third person will look like a two-handed animation, but it actually feels like it's okay with it. It's like, like that, see? It, it feels like somebody would do that in real life. Anyways, um, next mod will be called Better Stealth for AIs by K. 
Cairo Pop here. Or, oh, this guy has to change his name. And a motorcycle just passed by my house. If you guys heard that. What this mod does, it makes stealth characters be able to have their companion. And their companion will not basically scream out, Hey, come attack me, man. Come here. I'm, we're right here. We're trying to be stealthy, but we're right here. What it does, it lets you talk to your character, to your follower. Tell them, bro, bro, shut up. Okay? We want to be stealthy. So what you're going to do is wait until they attack us. And then you can attack. Not until my stealth bar shows a little bit opening. And then you're like freaking blitzkrieg them. It's very helpful mod, and it's even more helpful if your character does not get affected, if your stealth bar does not get affected by your companion, which I'll be showing you guys at the end of this mod. It's really quick. What you will need is a Skyrim creation kit, and pretty much any mod you might want to change that has companions. Alright guys, now I'll be showing you how to make your stealth character's companion not be not affect your stealth bar. What you want to do is open up your Skyrim creation kit. This can be installed in Steam, for example, or somewhere else. Just Google it. And then what you want to do is open it, click File, Data, and then this should open up. You want to double click on Skyrim.esm. And then if, you if you're going to change like a mod character, a mod follower, that you don't want to affect stealth either. If he uses um, Apache Sky here, just double click on it. It's going to be a main file. And then go down to this sister follower. That's not an actual mod that exists. That's just one I custom made. You can look up on YouTube how to make custom followers. Anyways, you got to double click on it and set, set as active file if you're going to change a companion from the mod. If you're not, you can just leave skyrim.esm alone and you don't have to use apache sky here either unless you want to change their hair later but that has nothing to do with this anyways just click ok and wait it might take a while it'll look like it might be lagging or closing and yeah it will do all sorts of things but don't worry if it says not responding just let it respond just wait it might take a while but just hold on whistle whistle waiting waiting all right and now let's just wait it should be just give it a sec da, 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 da. I hope you guys like the songs I've been putting on these um, Skyrim school review Skyrim mod reviews personally they're very good and non copyrighted all of them I've been putting non copyright mostly unique the one recently I put is from Monetized Tracks. He PM'd me a while ago and a couple of other people about um, the song he just uploaded. I think that's his first one. So far, I like his taste of music, so I'll be using his music more often. Wow, this is taking a while. Just give it a sec. It will respond soon. There we go. Yeah, that took a while. Okay, what you want to do is go to actors. Okay. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, I did something. Ah. Bleh. Okay, actors. I am recording this with X, that's probably why it's going to so slow. All right, now go look for your your companion that you're gonna um, want to change for example where's mine S I S I sister follower double click on it where it says editor item and a window should pop up like this what you want to do is click on doesn't affect stealth meter check it okay no matter what NPC it is just check it another good thing you can do is go to spell list Per add perks and then you can right click add perk and then just write filter um, 
stealth and then put the highest number usually that's the highest percentage and it gives them the perk that makes it, that makes your stealthing better I just like to put it personally anyways after you're done with that just click enter ooh okay big sound oh god okay once you do that oh what's with the sound Jesus okay just click OK I don't know why it won't let me and then just sit click date file and then save it as a mod and your thing should be good to go you should be able to have a stealthy character without him getting constantly screwed up by your companion plus you'll have some help in case you ever do mess up with the stealth anyways have a good day guys and hope this mod review helped you and I, it was very fun to do this one, but it took me a while. Anyways, have a good day.